Hi guys, welcome back to the kitchen. Today you are in for a treat. We have some serious summer bun action in collaboration with our pals at Arrow Wheat, Arnold and Brownberry Buns. In this video, I'm bringing you a delicious ultimate caramelized onion and blue cheeseburger with garlic shoestring fries. Now I'm gonna serve up my burgers using their potato buns because they're made with simple ingredients and are free from artificial preservatives, colors and flavors. Great burgers need great buns and these beauties will give you a great taste experience alongside the perfect burger bite. Right, to kick things off, this burger recipe is all about the combination of the sweetness of caramelized onions and that beautiful spiky salty kick you get from creamy blue cheese. Now to start off our onions, we're gonna get them into a pan on a sort of a medium heat to start with and then we're gonna lower down that heat and then let it cook out until those onions really become sweet and caramelized. So to start off, some butter in a pan. We're gonna let that melt down and for our onions, I've got my butter in the pan melting down. I've sliced the onions nice and thinly and now they're just gonna cook out slowly but surely. And I think a lot of people when it comes to caramelizing onions, they think it's only gonna take like 10 minutes or so. This actually takes about 30 to 35 minutes until you get really rich golden color on your onions. So take your time with this. So onions go into our pan. I always at this point add a very generous seasoning of salt because the salt helps dry out the moisture from the onions and allows them to cook out a little bit quicker. It also helps with a bit of flavor in there too. Grab up your wooden spoon, give that a good stir and just make sure your onions are nicely coated in that buttery mixture. Okay, so our onions at this point have caught that heat. So I'm gonna just spread them out and lower the heat right down to low and leave them to cook out for about 35 minutes. I'll come back, stir them every now and then until we have those sweet, intense flavors that we're looking for. That's the perfect addition alongside the blue cheese in these burgers. Now, while they're cooking out, we're gonna crack on with our shoestring fries. For them, I have mandolined up some potatoes with their skins on and then finely sliced them with a knife. You can do this with a mandolin or you can do this with a julienne peeler. Whatever you do choose to do, all you want is nice little matchsticks. And once you have these, pop them into some cold water, allow the starch to kind of wash off, and then you're gonna drain them and towel dry them until they're as dry as possible. In my pot, I've filled it with about three inches of oil. I've got the heat coming up to temperature. And the way you know that your oil is up to temperature is take a wooden spatula or a spoon and just pop it in and as soon as you start to see bubbles form around it it's a good indicator that it's hot enough for your chips to go in so once you've got all those little potato pieces we're going to pop them in a little strainer like this and in batches we're going to fry these off until they're nice crisp and golden now the beauty of doing shoestring fries is that they're going to cook out quite quickly so keep your eye on these and as soon as they go crisp and golden, we're gonna get them drained off and into a low oven. Okay, fries are in our low oven. Our onions have now caramelized right the way down. You can see they're really sweet and gorgeous looking at this point. So I'm gonna take them off the heat and we're gonna leave them aside while we crack on with our burger. So I'm gonna get a pan on a nice low heat and we're gonna create a very simple mince mixture that is so flavorful. For that, I have some really good quality beef mince, which goes into a bowl alongside a little touch of Dijon mustard for some peppery bite. Now with burgers, I tend not to want to add too much, but just that little bit of Dijon goes a long way. We're gonna add some fattiness and saltiness in the shape of some chopped pancetta. That goes straight in. And then for a meaty sort of touch, and that store cupboard ingredient I always love to use, a little touch of Worcestershire sauce that goes in there. And then the last little touch is one garlic clove finely grated. So just grate that in. And really, you don't want to add too much more. I'm just going to add some salt and pepper and that is it. Tap that in. And last little bit is some essential seasoning, some salt and some black pepper. It is important you have your pan nice and hot. So I'm actually waiting for this to get to a smoking point. And it's actually coming up quite quick. 
And the great thing with this burger mixture is it's not about being too fussy. We're just gonna get our hands in and give it a good mix until all those ingredients are nicely incorporated. And then I'm gonna grab up about four pieces of this, form them into rough patties and slap them straight on that hot frying pan. It should be up to this smoking point. You do not need any oil. All the fat is gonna be released from the burgers themselves and we're gonna squash this down with a spatula to get really great crusty exterior on these burgers. So let's get cooking. So I've just added the blue cheese slices on top of the burger and now a great trick to make sure that cheese melts into the burger and you get this gnarly finish to it. Lid goes straight on top, lower the heat or turn it off at this point. Allow the burgers and the heat to melt the cheese down and while that's happening, we're gonna toast up our buns, get all of our ingredients ready and build these burgers. Now, my friends, it is time to build these burgers. My buns are beautifully toasted and golden, so we're gonna grab these up. I have my onions, I have my burgers, which right now look absolutely amazing. That puff of smoke, we've got melted blue cheese, we've got caramelized onions, all the bits you want to create a burger feast, and I've served up my shoestring fries as well. So let's build these burgers. I'm gonna start off with a little touch of mayo across the base of each of these buns. I'm gonna spread that right to the sides. I always think with these condiments, you gotta go generous. It should be oozing at the seams, and if it's not, just a mean burger. No one wants a mean burger. Same on the other side, a good generous dollop. And you could go ketchup here if you want, but I like the, the coolness of the mayo. Next step is some tomatoes, one on each. Then we're gonna hit it with those beautiful melted burgers. It should be dripping. Your burger should have a little bit of drip and ooze action. Otherwise, what's the point? So place them on top. We're gonna add in plenty of that caramelized onion and the combination between the caramelized red onions and then that salty, creamy bite you get from the blue cheese. It's probably one of my favorite flavor combinations. Last little touch, some lettuce leaves over the top because you gotta have some green in there somewhere. And then that is literally all you need. Two beautiful burgers sandwiched together that just need to be devoured. So let's dive in and try some. Mm. Oh man. Wow. That is where it's at. Those potato buns are really soft and luscious. And in amongst those really strong flavors from the caramelized red onion and the blue cheese, this is a properly delicious burger. Right, I feel like I should serve them up with our shoestring fries. It's a totally delicious little recipe, and I think even with the shoestring fries, it just adds to the burger experience. If you like the look of this recipe and you wanna get the full details of how to make it, make sure you check it out in the box below and over on my website. Make sure you hit subscribe to this channel for lots more delicious recipes just like this one. And of course, leave a comment letting me know how you like to enjoy your burgers and your favorite toppings. And until then, I'm off to eat the rest of this, so I'll see you soon. Mm. Mm, mm, mm.